All right, lesson two, module five. The notes for this page is found on S8. So here we go. Now we have triangles we're dealing with today. So the cool thing about the triangle, and we're going to be specifically in right triangle world today, we have two formulas we can use. We can use area equals base times height divided by two, or we can use one half base times height. Now, when you see a half, don't panic. Some kids see fractions and are like, no, half base just means whatever this number is, or the H, you can take half of it and then just times it by the other. And there'll be some that we'll be able to try this formula with versus this formula. Either one, perfectly fine. Both work amazing. This you see quite a bit on big exams. This is offered on the Regents exam when you get to high school also. Uh, but this is just a nicer way to look at it. So the base and the height on a right triangle are the two sides that form the 90 degree angle. So base and then the height. So this technically this triangle looks like it's upside down. This slant side is called the hypotenuse and we don't need the hypotenuse. Okay. So we don't need that. So we need the base and the height. So we have area equals base times height divided by two. So we want to have the formula line with the big A first. Area equals 31 and 2 tenths times 9 and 1 tenth divided by 2. The reason why I chose this formula here is because neither of these two numbers do I want to split half, split in half in my head. So I really just want to do these naturally um, on paper or you know how that goes. So when I multiply these two numbers together, 31 and 2 tenths times 9 and 1 tenth, I'm going to get 283 and 92 hundredths. Then I need to divide it by 2. Okay. And then when I divide that by 2, we're going to cut this all, this all answer in half, which is dividing by 2. And I'm going to get 141 and 96 hundredths centimeters, little 2. If you were to have done that all on a calculator or on your side of your paper, don't forget that there are two numbers after decimal points right there that you need to then jump your, into your number. That's why there's two numbers after. This line right here, some kids don't have. Some kids just have the formula line, the plug-in line, and the answer line, which is totally fine. All right. So now we're going to move to a different one on this page just so you can see the other formula being done, which is this. So we're going to look at the base and the height. So we're going to go and move this can down. Area equals half times base times height. So we can look at this as half of 60 times 11. Well, half of 60 is 30. Are you with me there? That's as fast as we can do that math versus what we could have done up there. And then... You just need to take it to the side of your paper and do 30 times 11, which is 330 millimeters, little two. Now, once again, th that line is optional because half a 30, half a 60 is 30. 30 times 11, you can just do on the side of your paper. To get your final answer now. Some kids go, well, Mrs. Bobby, why didn't you divide by two? Technically, I did. If I cut a candy bar in half, I have divided the candy bar in two. So dividing by two and times by the half are exactly the same thing. So once again, the formula is base times height divided by two or half times base times height. I use the half base times height formula when I have at least one even number that I can split naturally. So thinking about this one, just in general up here, we're not going to do it, but we're going to set it up. You have area equals base times height divided by two. Area equals five times three and three fourths divided by two. Don't forget with fractions, you have to make them improper first. So you have 12, 13, 14, 15 fourths.
and all whole numbers go over one. So now you're back into that fraction world before you divide by two. Now, after you get this answer, don't forget that this is a drop. Once you get this answer, you drop, you change, and you flip. Now remember, two over one becomes one over two, okay? That'll be more lessons on this one tomorrow. This is just the first day of the basics. And as always, I love Diet Coke. And as always, math also.